Greetings, mystics. I'm here for our new moon reading for the new moon in Capricorn coming up on Tuesday, January 12th at 11.02 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. The cards that I have pulled for this new moon reading are the Knight of Rods, the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the World card. This new moon reading is brought to you by my patrons via Mystic Membership. They make this reading possible and they receive early access to this new moon reading. For our reading, I have asked for the guidance and messages which will assist us in best traversing the energies of this new moon. We begin the reading with the Knight of Rods. The Knight of Rods symbolizes maturity in moving forward, mature ideas, and mature feelings. Mature ideas pertaining to what we are passionate about, what we care about, what ignites us, what ignites our fires, what ignites our hearts, what ignites us emotionally, and having the capability to move forward, bringing those ideas, those goals, those projects into full fruition. The knight is somebody fully armed, fully prepared, fully protected, somebody who has considered their practical needs, who has considered all angles of a plan or a situation and knows exactly what is needed in order to get the task done and accomplish their goals. In this reading, the Knight of Rods comes up against the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. This is heartbreak and loss. This reading is showing us that sometimes our plans don't work out because of circumstances or forces that are outside of our own capabilities and outside of our own control. Sometimes even when we have completely thought about our plan, we've fully prepared, we've thought of all circumstances and possibilities. We have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and we've thought about things from all perspectives. We still come up against challenges or obstacles. And sometimes, more often than not, that is because it is not the proper timing. We are only one piece of the puzzle. We only have control over what we have control over. We are co-creators, we're not the creator. There are always forces outside of us that have an agenda of their own. What we aim to do is work in harmony with and in alignment with the universe and the world around ourselves, but sometimes things don't totally match up. However, things do happen for a reason. And with this Three of Swords and this Five of Cups, this disappointment, this loss that may be occurring, this heartbreak, this setback, this challenge, it's here to offer us even more insight, even more wisdom, even more perspective. It's actually going to be a learning experience for us, especially if we are able to remove our focus from our loss and focus on what we do have, focus on what is good in our lives, what we have to be grateful for, what brings us joy in the small daily life, in the small moment-to-moment -moment daily life occurrences, what still occurs in our lives that allow us to feel in harmony with joy allows us to be in the moment, allows us to feel in tune. The Five of Cups reminds us that happiness is not always about achieving something large 
or attaining our goals or making all of our dreams come true. Happiness can be found in small moments on a day-to-day basis. True happiness is when we are experiencing joy. It's when we are experiencing a moment that takes us out of place, takes us out of time, and offers us that feeling of harmony um, in the moment, a feeling of complete attunement with the joy that we're feeling, complete attunement with what is happening in front of us. And we always have that capacity for joy. There are always going to be things in our daily lives that can bring us that joy, that can bring us that complete harmony with life, the complete harmony with the world around us. And we're being asked now to pay attention to those moments, to pay attention to those experiences of joy and harmony, to pay attention to what we're grateful for and and to be grateful for those moments of joy. The world card is here because of the learning experience that we're going through. The world card tells us that everything will work out when it's supposed to and that it will be our second chance. It will be our chance to accomplish what we set out to accomplish, this time with more wisdom, more knowledge, more skill, more insight. The world card is how I know that the loss and the challenge that we're going through is going to offer us gifts that are going to allow us to move forward in a way that is even better, in a way that brings us even more success. So what we're going through now, the losses we've encountered or the setbacks that we're coming up against, the challenges that we're facing, it's only temporary. The world card shows us that we're going to come out on top and that we're going to be even more equipped to accomplish exactly what we want to accomplish. This is just a minor setback in which we're being asked to pause, to be grateful. It doesn't mean that we have to succumb to toxic positivity. It doesn't mean that we're asked to ignore our feelings of loss, to ignore our feelings of heartbreak. It doesn't mean that if we allow ourselves to feel, then we're going to be attuned to so-called low vibrations. We need to experience our pain, experience our loss, experience our heartbreak, accept it, fully accept it for exactly what it is, feel it, and also understand that even when we are feeling that loss, that heartbreak, we always have the capacity for joy. These things can exist simultaneously. Our daily lives, if we allow it to, will always have the potential to bring us moments of happiness. True happiness is not a consistent thing. We're never going to be always happy. True happiness comes in momentary experiences when we feel that we're in the zone, when we feel that we're completely in the moment, when we feel that we're completely in harmony with a loved one or with an experience or with nature or with an emotion. We always have that ability. It doesn't require us to ignore our so-called negative emotions. Instead, we are to recognize that we always have the capability to feel a wide range of emotions. We'll come through this with even more skill to attain what we want to attain. We're going to learn things now that we didn't even know we needed to learn. And in the end, we'll have a second chance to achieve our goals. Many, many blessings and happy new moon.